So let's suppose this is my time frame, 60 minutes or daily or whatever. So and I have up, up, and up. What may happen today? Huh? All the way up. That means whatever, whatever you want or is logical, you buy. Right? So what's going to happen? It's up, up, and up. So what's going to happen if I have up arrow, up arrow with the black, and down arrow for the red? Is this truly in price and volume? No, no, let's, yes, let's suppose that it's after the volume, but on the currencies we don't have volume. All right, and just because I'm talking about the currency, we don't check the volume anyway, all right? Okay, so now, this is going up, this is going up, the medium movement, and the small movement is down. What's going to happen today? Okay. Down and then up. Huh? Down and then up. Yes, down and then up. So, look at this. This is called conclusion. All right? So that means, first of all, you draw four lines. All right? So, that separates the space into three areas. Okay? So and now the red one is a small movement. And it's gonna happen first, right? So and then I say, let's suppose that I'm somewhere here. So first of all, it's gonna go down up to there. How much do you think? If I said before that it's around 70 pips, if I go twice down, how much is the one time down? Around 35 pips, right? So for the stocks, let's say maybe it's gonna be, let's say, one to three percent, right? Up to three percent. So, and then what's gonna happen? The black, which is the medium, is gonna go up from here. And another level, that we, if I start it from here, means that this movement, with, that is 70 pips, is gonna go higher than there that it was before, right? <coughs> and if the big movement is up, what's gonna happen? It's gonna go, well higher from here, right? So if the two arrows is 70 pips, the three arrows is around, what? 100, right? So that's why, look at how, what I draw here. The red one is the small movement. So the medium movement is a black one, which is two times up. The blue one, this is the big movement, is three times up, right? So the numbers are approximate. That means if I have the big movement up, that the prices will move 10% almost up. But this, again, depends the market and all this. Now, if we combine a very good analyst with a very good trader, then we have the perfect combination, which is pretty much difficult to have. It. Right? So what do we do? We give you a system that, by, by default, can forecast the things, and then I make you trade. As you remember from the triangle that uh, Michael was talking, we need a system, we need the correct money management, and we need the correct psychology to make money. For the system, you have it already. I gave it to you, I cannot take it back. Right? About the money management, we will teach you a lot during the part of how much you are going to put in the market about the psychology, I don't know how psycho you are, right? Why? Because I know a lot of traders that they know that the market is going to go like up, down, and down. That means first it's going to go down and then up. And they buy now everything, hundreds of dollars. They know it. I tell them, look, it's going to go down first, and then it's going to go up. And who cares if it's going to go up? 300% of my money in the market. And then, of course, something is changing, and the market is going a little bit lower, and they have a matching call. Matching call means close your position now, otherwise I close it. This is the broker, right? So now that's why I say I don't know how psycho you are, how crazy you are, right? Yes, you are good. But if you have the short and medium term, you have it pointing down, so you short. Yeah, so you short first, and then you buy. Yes. And this crazy guy, even if he's, he knows that the market's gonna go down first and then up, buys everything now. 
Why? I don't know. That is a problem. Right? Right? So that's why we need to have a combination of everything right, to be a good trade. We will teach you exactly when you are going to buy here. And if you want to short, we will tell you exactly how to short here. But still, I don't know how cycle you are. So that's why there is a part, small part, but very important part in the game that I cannot change, right? So if you follow exactly what you are going to say, so then everything is going to be fine. So, and then we have in the game this thing that says discipline. Very small word, but so huge. Discipline means I'm going to do exactly what I have planned already. Definitely the system, you know, put all together and just how amazing it is when you see it work. All right. Good. For me, I used to see just the chat, but now I could read the chat and understand the chat. That's, that's the best part to it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. And how the graphs work. And the simple um, list you gave us. Even for me, you know, I think I should be okay, you know, when trading. So I think this is an excellent course, and I would suggest it for anyone who wants to play the Forex or with stocks or anything like that, you know? I think the best thing I liked was the contrarian uh, theory, uh, mm. just being able to see the ROC and the histogram, MACD, and uh, just comparing with, uh, you know, which extreme swing it, it might impact. Very good. Thank you very much.